Visionary businessman or a power mad egomaniac. He's a man who would be president of his own country, but here he just loves his golf. Tonight, I'll be asking Donald Trump in New York if his special relationship with First Minister Alex Salmon is about to hit the rough. This is Scotland tonight. The US billionaire Donald Trump divides opinion. A would-be president, one of the richest men in the world. Trump Tower in New York City tells you that this is a man who doesn't do small. And yet, it's to Scotland he came with a big idea, the greatest golf course in the world. But it's been plagued by endless planning rows and protests. Yet it's him who is objecting now. He doesn't like plans for an offshore wind farm near his luxury resort. In a few moments, I'll question the man himself. But first, David Marsland takes a brief look at the story so far. Now, before we go tonight, let's take a quick look at five things happening tomorrow. Uh, a decision is expected on plans to open a gold mine in Loch Lomond National Park. Multiple MOBO award-winning urban pop artist Jesse J is playing Edinburgh's Usher Hall. So that Alec Ferguson's Manchester United are taking to the field against Aldershot for the first time since the Manchester City game he called his worst ever result. Was Shakespeare a fraud? Period thriller. Anonymous premieres at the London Film Festival. It suggests the Bard didn't write his own plays and it's the 50th birthday of Private Eye magazine. Well that's all from Scotland tonight. Lorna Dougal will be here tomorrow with First Minister Alex Salmond in the studio. Until then, here's one last thing. Now that I've completed the course, all of a sudden we have these ugly monsters rising. I do think they're a really a horrible mistake for this area and actually for Scotland as a whole.